Here to tell us more about the Pearl Harbor anniversary events and the organization's mission is Best Defense Foundation founder Donnie Edwards and Director of Veteran Affairs Amanda Thompson. Welcome to both of you. How you doing, Ginger? I'm, I'm thrilled to find out how it's going. I know we spoke to you before you left. You're hours away from yeah. being a part of something that's 80 years in the making. How are you feeling? How's it going? It's going very, very well. I mean, all the veterans are having a fantastic time. There's Rondo right there on the USS Missouri. Um, we had so many, so many great events so far. Um, we just got back from Kaneohe Air Base where we met a thousand Marines and uh, we just got caught up in a big monsoon. So we literally just got back to the hotel and uh, we just got dry to come here and join you guys today. So all the veterans are having a fantastic time super special i mean this is 80 years in the making and we're just really happy to to bring so many here on this special opportunity it is incredible what you're doing amanda talk to me about what it's like to be walking in this area where 80 years ago these 63 veterans their life was changed i mean you can see it in their eyes that they're reliving all of their history we have six pearl harbor survivors with us and they are reliving what they lived just this week of December 6th, the day before, and tomorrow, December 7th. You know, as a military spouse, I get it that um, these things are stuff that sticks with you forever. And you can see that. And we just want to honor them and make sure that they get the closure um, that they so well deserve. Donnie, talk about that as well, because that's the whole point of the Best Defense Foundation. Yeah, giving them an opportunity to go back to the battlefields um, for closure, camaraderie, and brotherhood. It's so important, I mean, especially being on a football team for so long, you love your teammates and you want to be with your teammates to remember what you went through. And this is 80 years in the making. I mean, December 7th, 1941, and we have so many veterans that are getting this opportunity to go back and find that closure one last time with all their brothers and sisters. And matter of fact, Ginger, we have a Pearl Harbor survivor who just came in. I want to introduce his name is Jack Holder. On December 7th, 1941, he was standing right there on the PBY dock. And he got the first strafe by the Japanese bullets that came through. Oh, so Jack wow. Holder, yeah, you have to meet this. Jack, My come, goodness, come. I've got chills right now. I can't yeah, believe this. This is yeah, amazing. Here's Jack, here's Jack Holder right here. He's 99 years old. Sit right here, buddy. He's 99 years old, and he's getting ready to celebrate his 100th birthday on December 13th. December 13th. This is Jack Holder, everyone. Pearl Miss Harbor survivor. Go ahead, Jack. Jack hey, Holder, morning, sir, group. thank uh, you. Uh, I'm very happy to join you here. Wow. What an honor to speak to you, and thank you so much for your service. Tell me how you're feeling being back there right now. Well, it's always a great feeling to come back here. This uh, this is probably the fifth time, but uh, it brings back vivid memories that I've never lost, but uh, it, it's an enjoyable visit. Uh, this has been the longest month waiting for this I've ever endured. I'm kind of like the kid that keeps saying, are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> are we there yet? Well, you are here. You're here yeah. today. Yeah. So yeah. what does it mean for you to be back here with 62 of your other brothers and sisters? That well, it's you? always nice to see uh, all of the my shipmates. Uh, some of them I know, some of them I haven't met before, but uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, I know uh, they went through things just like I did, and... Uh, 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 they're, they're all to be commended. You know, when those first bullets were coming in, when, when it started developing, did you have any idea of what you were about to witness and what you were about to become a part of? None at all. Uh, let me just tell you how it started. I had the duty that day. I was a PBY flight engineer. My section had the duty that day. We lined up in our own hangar. The section leader began roll call. We heard a, a screaming aircraft, and moments later, a terrible explosion. We ran outside. The hangar beside us, VP-21, which is about 100 yards away, received the first bomb that fell in, on Fort Island. We seen all the aircraft in the sky with the rising sun in signal. We knew immediately what had happened. And I've been asked so many times what my thoughts were at that time. And there's too many to uh, describe all of them. But the first one, I guess, was fear, anger, surprise. 
whatever. Wow. One of my shipmates remembered there was a sewer line behind our hangar under construction. He says, let's go for the ditch. Follow me. We all ran, jumped in the ditch, sat there clinging to each other. One of the pilots seen us, strafed the ditch with machine gun fire, missing us by probably three feet. He hit the dirt, piled up beside the ditch. I can still see that pilot coming into us, his leather helmet flapping in the breeze and an open canopy. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's something I'll never forget. And we will never forget you and everything that you and your generation has done for everyone who has followed. I want to wish you a happy 100th birthday. I know we're a week early, but I want to wish you a happy 100th birthday. And thank you so much for your service. Jack Holder, wow, what an honor to get to speak to you tonight, sir, and hear your story. Okay. All right. Really uh, appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I have more there if you want it and have time, but... Uh, that's your decision. <laughs> I wish it were my decision, sir, but I've got to listen to my bosses as well. And plus, we want to continue this coverage tomorrow as well. So, Donnie, uh, uh, Jack, uh, and Amanda, thank you so much for your time and for taking some time out to be with us. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much for highlighting it. And remember, Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. What does Jack want to show me right there? What do I see? I'm the author of a book called Fear, Adrenaline, and Excitement. This is Jack's book. You want to read about his story, you can definitely find it on Amazon, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. All right, we will do that, sir. Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed night.